Hello thinkers, welcome back to our YouTube channel where we bring you to the world of creative innovations and technological developments. Imagine a city where traffic jams are a thing of the past, where public transportation is efficient and sustainable, and where energy consumption is optimized to reduce waste. This sounds great, right? Well, welcome to the world of smart cities. Smart cities combine automation, machine learning, and IOTs, connecting all manner of services to provide better and more efficient solutions for its inhabitants. So in this video, we will be reviewing the beauty of smart cities and the future it holds in our society today. But before we get into the video, kindly smash that like button so as to help us reach a wider audience. Our YouTube analytics show that only a small amount of people who watch our videos are actually subscribed to the channel. So kindly subscribe and click on the notifications bell. In essence, smart cities are urban areas that use technology and machine learning to improve the quality of life for citizens, enhance sustainability, and streamline public services. These cities leverage advanced technologies like Internet of Things sensors, artificial intelligence, and data analytics to create a more livable, efficient, and responsive urban environment. I bet you we can have heaven on earth if things keep moving in that direction. For example, Smart parking. This can help drivers instantly find free parking spaces and also allow for digital payment. All smart traffic management. To monitor traffic flow and optimize traffic lights to reduce congestion. Smart city features can also include energy conservation and environmental efficiencies, such as street lights that dim on their own when the roads are empty. Such smart grid technologies can improve everything from operations to maintenance and planning and also power distribution as well. The concept of smart cities dates back to the 1960s and 1970s when the United States Community Analysis Bureau began using databases, aerial photography and cluster analysis to collect data, direct resources and issue reports in order to direct services, mitigate against disasters and reduce poverty. This led to the creation of the first generation of smart cities. The first generation of smart city was delivered by technology providers to understand the implications of technology on daily life. This led to the second generation of smart city, which looked at how smart technologies and other innovations could create joined up municipal solutions. The third generation of smart city took the control away from technology providers and city leaders, instead creating a model that involved the public and enabled social inclusion and community engagement. This third generation model was adopted by Vienna, who created a partnership with the local Wien Energy Company, allowing citizens to invest in local solar plants as well as working with the public to resolve gender equality and affordable housing issues. Such adoption has continued around the world, including in Vancouver, where 30,000 citizens co-created the Vancouver Greener City 2020 Action Plan. Other notable smart city projects are the Shot Spotter Project, where the US Justice Department committed $35 million in funding for programs that utilize technology and science to reduce crime rates. And in some cities, private firms are already working with the police to put smart solutions at work. Telensa, a company based in both Cambridge, UK and Belarus, are working towards a smart parking solution that aims to make finding available parking spaces less of a chore for drivers, as well as to lower city congestion rates and reduce road law enforcement costs. And then we have the Fujisawa Sustainable Smart Town Project. Japan is often the source of new and exciting technology. However, the island isn't without its problems. Only about a fraction of its lands are suitable for urban development due to its mountainous terrain, and there is a need to constantly import energy supplies, especially due to the 2011 tsunami and earthquake that caused the country's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear reactors to go into meltdown. So to help combat energy issues and encourage Japan as a nation to become more self-sustainable and smarter, Panasonic has been delving into Internet of Things and smart technology. The Smart City project involves Panasonic, the Fujisawa City local government and a number of other business partners including Tokyo Gas, Accenture, and Yamato Transport. 
The Fujisawa Sustainable Smart Town opened in 2014 with a sale of 220 homes worth $500,000 each. More expensive than the norm, but nowhere close to the price tag for homes in nearby Tokyo. Each home comes equipped with its own solar panels, energy monitoring devices, and an energy storing battery, of which any excess solar power can be sold back to the grid. Residents can also take advantage of bicycle and EV sharing schemes and an online community portal, fully protected by 24-7 virtual gate camera-based security. So how do smart cities work? Well, just as the human body's nervous system governs how humans interact and respond to the world around them, evolving technologies are empowering cities with abilities to respond to changes in their local urban environments. Technologies to collect data, including real-time data, are central to the smart city initiatives. Data-driven insights help to improve urban planning and the deployment of city services, ranging from waste management to public transportation, leading to better quality of life for residents. Smart cities follow four steps to improve the quality of life and enable economic growth through a network of connected IoT devices and other technologies. These steps are as follows. The collection phase. This phase is pretty self-explanatory. In this phase, the smart sensors gather real-time data. Then the analysis phase, where the data gathered is analyzed to gain insights into the operations of city services. Next up is the communications phase, where the analysis of the data gathered is communicated to the decision makers. And then lastly, the action phase, in which operations takes place or are improved. Assets are managed and the overall quality of city life for the residents are improved. Finally, 54% of the world's population live in megacities, and this is expected to rise to 66% by 2050, adding a further 2.5 billion people to the urban population over the next three decades. With this expected population growth, they come to need to manage environmental, social, and economic sustainability of resources. Smart cities are very important because they allow citizens and local government authorities to work together to launch initiatives and use smart technologies to manage assets and resources in the growing urban environment. That would be all for today's video. Kindly leave a like and comment on where you see smart cities in the foreseeable future. Bye for now.